everyone, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm gonna bring you guys along on just a day in life. I actually wanna go to the thrift store today and try to find some more books for my built-ins. I cannot help myself. Like, I, <laughs> I really want to fill the shelves with books. Like, I don't know why, but I just love the look of like a dark and moody library. And I guess that's kind of like the vibe I want in here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. But after I decorated the shelves the first time, I obviously knew that wasn't how I was going to leave them just because I didn't have enough decor. I was just using what I had on hand. I actually decluttered a lot of my home decor that I had stored in my shed because it was just getting messed up out there. So I put all that in a box and my mom took it all with her to my grandma's for our yard sale. So I didn't have any decor here to decorate with. I just had literally what I shared in that video. Um, but the next day <laughs> I went shopping. I went to the thrift store. I got some books, some plants. I got a little bit of things. Um, I don't have any plants. I have one plant, but I actually pulled it out of the bathroom, but I did get lots of books. So I'll show you guys how those look now. Um, also just like a quick little rundown on our weekend. We had a really great weekend. Saturday, the kids went by my mom's and my husband and I got to have like early Valentine's day night our date night which was really nice we don't get date nights often but when we do we really appreciate them because it's really important and um, yeah we had a great time we went out to dinner we went to the flea market and I got a really cute uh, sling bag purse I'll show you all that we got each of us got a pair of sunglasses they were like two for fifteen dollars what else did we buy oh I got honey from the farmers market and pickles <laughs> I know <laughs> just kind of random but we really we were, had a really great time. It was a lot of fun. Then we went out to dinner, came home, watched a movie. The movie we watched was really weird, like super weird to me. His dad like raved about it. I didn't like it. I was having a hard time getting into it. It uh, what is it called? I think it's called Free People. Free something? Is that what it's called? I don't know. It, it's like about um, gamers, and they have like. It's basically like Sims gaming assist. I don't know how to explain the movie. I'll leave, leave the title on the screen. It was just different and it really wasn't like, and it had Ryan Reynolds in it. So I thought I was going to love it because I love him as an actor, but it just wasn't the right type of movie for me. I like comedy. I'm a very big comedy. I also like romance. I don't like any type of emotional movie, like anything sad. Heck no. If I cry, I'm done. I will turn the movie off. I don't want to cry. I cry enough. Like I don't need any more tears. And I'm totally joking by the way. I don't cry a lot. I just, I'm a very emotional person. So if I see something emotional, it really digs deep and I can't get it out of my mind. Like I put myself in that person's shoes and it really, it does something to my heart. I don't like it. So anyway, um, I did, oh, are you listening to me talk about emotion? Oh, hers is my emotional support. Huh. I really do think she is. Like, I think she can sense when I'm anxious and stuff. Because yesterday I was not feeling my best. I was just having, like, kind of an off day. And I think it was because it has a lot to do with, like, health-related stuff. I've told y'all before, but I do have health anxiety. And I know this is super chatty. Y'all can skip ahead if you don't like it. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, yesterday was like one of those bad days for me, and hers was right next to me all day. Her sat in my lap, huh? And she hates showers. She doesn't like the bathroom. She doesn't like going in the bathroom, but she would not leave my side. She came in the bathroom with me, didn't you? Her's so sweet. I just love her mom. And I love you. Anyway, yeah, I've been rambling at this point. I don't know what the point of all the rambling was. So I'm going to get my makeup on, get to rest for the day. Oh, today we have a lot going on too. I have a conference with my daughter's teacher. And then we also have gymnastics today, right? I don't know. I have to look at my schedule. I don't know. I don't know if it's today or not. Oh, excuse me. But, um, yeah, got a lot going on. So, <laughs> We got a lot going on. What are you doing today? What are your plans? You gonna sleep right there on the couch? <laughs> she don't like the bathroom. 
But I'll stand here. Can, you're a child. <laughs> you're like a kid. What? into this like shirt. I got this from uh, Walmart. It came as like a two-piece set. No, it did not come as a two-piece set. You can buy it as a two-piece set, but I didn't like the pants, so I just got the top. But anyway, I threw on a bra, threw this on, just so I'm comfortable, and I tried, I put the bra on, and I was like, dang, this is like such a comfortable bra. After further inspection, <laughs> it's actually a nursing bra, you guys. Like, it literally is a nursing bra. No wonder it's so comfortable. I don't care. I'm going to rock it. <laughs> this is the purse that I ended up getting from the flea market. I love it. It's just like a no name purse. I don't know if y'all have ever seen um, like these little tents that they set up and they sell like purses pretty cheap. Check them out because they have purses like this. Bell's Outlet also sells these really inexpensive. Um, and these are just my favorite. I love the thick strap. I like that I don't have to hold onto my purse. Everything fits in here really well. And then these are the sunglasses I got love these um they have like this really pretty detail like right here on the side and this is what they look like on so basic sunglasses nothing fancy well i mean they're kind of fancy but they were cheap they were like i said they were two for 15 for my husband and i and i um, happy i got those because i have a hard time finding this style of sunglasses that like fit my face with i have like a narrow face right here <laughs> like it gets really narrow so even um I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like when I bend down, these don't fall off my face. A lot of times sunglasses, I'll put them on and I'll look down and they just fall right off. So let me show you what I had to have done to my actual glasses. Look at this. <laughs> I had to have them like rounded for around my ears so I can see. That way when I look down, they, they slide, but they don't fall off because they catch behind my ears, which is really nice because before when I first got them, they were falling right off my face. Like if they're just too wide here, but I love the look of these glasses. Like, and I can't find them in a smaller size. Like this is as small as they go. Um, and I got a lot of questions about these, by the way. They're Elizabeth Arden and I get my glasses done or my eyes checked at Walmart. So Walmart Vision Center. And I love the guy there. He's really nice. And I really like these a lot. They're like leopard. I guess y'all probably can't see them from a distance but that's what they look like up close so they're honestly very cheap I bought the cheapest pair because I wasn't really sure if I was even gonna be able to wear glasses because I do sweat really really bad and I have noticed that even like on a hot summer day my glasses just stay fogged up so I don't think I'm gonna be able to wear them much in the summer I'm probably gonna have to get contacts it's like literally the only option I got because how am I supposed to see if everything is like foggy <laughs> we'll be fine um but anyway i'm gonna go to the store take a peek around bring you guys along with me we're gonna go to a few thrift stores um, we're gonna go to the antique one i've been to before that i really love and then um just see if i can find any other ones while we're out so let's go well <laughs> i just drove all the way here i don't know why i always do this I drove all the way here and they're not even open yet. I'm so bummed. I have like nowhere to go. <laughs> I'm at the Antique Mall, by the way. If you've never been here and you're ever traveling through Florida, highly recommend checking it out. It's pretty cool. It's a very, it's like takes hours and hours. It would take you all day to go through like every booth, but it is worth it. If you're ever just driving through, check it out. Antique Mall of Lakeland. Um, and I just drove all the way here and they're not open yet everything is like staying closed later and later like or not opening until later and later <sighs> such a bummer <laughs> so I'm gonna go find a store that's open I guess okay so I just got to Target um, nothing's open yet so I gotta wait for all the stores to open so we'll just come to Target and look around it's the closest store so let's see if I can find anything good Oh, I love these. Oh, the little chicken. The 
that's pretty. There's a lot there. You guys, look how cute. I cannot. I love that. So adorable. I kinda like him too. These are beautiful. I get so nasty though. Ooh, this one's fancy. Oh, this is perfume. Oh, no, it's so. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I love $20. My goodness. Oh, look at this. It's a towel holder, but that would be pretty, just like, as decor. This is stunning. Love that. Why do I always pick the, be the best up bunny? are fifteen dollars. What the heck? Why is it so expensive? But they're so pretty. <laughs> Ooh, those are cute. I don't like the base though. And definitely not worth thirty-five dollars. I love all of this stuff. Like this. Ooh, look how pretty. Twenty-five dollars. Ooh, look how pretty. I could totally paint something like this. How much is this? Forty dollars. Very pretty though. I like that a lot. Okay, this is $30. 30. And these are the same plants, but these are only $3.99. So I'm going to get one more of those and then buy me a vase and I'll make it myself way cheaper. After leaving Target, I went back to the antique mall and I'm going to go ahead and start walking through and guess what happened? I got another messed up buggy, but it's fine. I just wanted to do a voiceover on this clip really quick because all you could hear was the buggy like clanking along. <laughs> um, but anyway, it took me about three hours to get through the store. I quickly walked through each booth and I was looking for specific things, things to decorate my shelves and books. Oh, I like this. Check this out. That's cool. These are super neat. I love those. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, there's another one. So I guess they're matching. Huh. These are super cool. Oh, this is a hearth and hand. <laughs> I wonder how much they're selling here for. Where's your price tag? They don't have prices.
This is cool. Wow, it's heavy. I like it. I kind of want it. I'm going to put it in my buggy for now. Auto repair manual. How cool. I like the look of those, but those are really expensive. I don't know what this is, but it caught my eye. Oh, it's a little Coke. Oops. That's cool. So this booth had a lot of books that I really liked. I just wasn't willing to pay $20 for these. Um, I knew that I, if I just kept looking, I would find some, and I did. Over time, I start finding more and more, and a lot more affordable options as well. And I knew that if I couldn't find any here, the other thrift stores have them, like Goodwill and stuff like that. So... Um, I was just trying to find some, you know, cool antique ones, books that you can't really find anywhere else. Okay, so most of the time I was at the store, the music was not up super loud, but every now and then they would have that one song, and that's like they turned it up super loud. So there's a few um, clips where I'll have to just do like a voiceover or play music, so I hope you guys don't mind, but the whole copyright thing is something fierce. They will copyright my butt quick. <laughs> One thing I really love about shopping secondhand is being able to find seasonal decor really cheap and it's unique stuff so that way you're not decorating like everybody else on social media. <laughs> I really love that. I like to find, you know, cute little rabbits and stuff like that. I'll have to come back and get some stuff, but I was trying to stick to my list of things that I needed. Ooh, super old little car. Twelve ninety. Pretty cool. Okay, these books are a little cheaper. They're all cookbooks though. <laughs> um, it's only two dollars. Wow, forty dollars. It's a candlestick though. How cool is that? This is like the coolest thing ever. It's a hundred and five dollars though. It's really expensive. That's pretty cool. I don't know what it is. The vintage lamp part. So it's just a part to a lamp. You know, I always found it to be extremely interesting to find photos of people in thrift stores. Like it would be so incredible if you could just hear the story behind these people and who they were as a person. What were their families like? You know, like, did they make a difference in the world? I just find that to be extremely interesting. And maybe that's why I love thrifting, because you just never know what you're looking at. I mean, it could be 100 years old. It could be 200 years old. You just never know. How gorgeous is this? So pretty. So I spent, like three hours it felt like inside the antique mall I could literally walk around there for like days it's so there's so much to see and look at but I got some good stuff I'll show you guys as soon as I get home um I'm gonna stop at one more thrift store and then we're gonna head out so at this thrift store there was a lot of prices missing off of things which is such a bummer I don't like to ask for prices especially like walking up to the register because sometimes they'll just give you a number right off the top of their head and sometimes it's a lot higher than what you're willing to spend and it just makes you feel uncomfortable when you're like yeah never mind <laughs> I don't know I don't like to do that so I just put some of it back um, but they also sell furniture at this one as well which is pretty cool like new furniture and appliances they have vanities they also have some pretty artwork and something about this photo just like I don't know, I saw it from a distance, and I was like, I love this. I didn't buy it, but I thought it was really pretty. I am on the way home. I got lots of goodies. I got the kids' Valentine's Day stuff as well while I was out. So I'll show that to you guys, and we're going to decorate these shelves. We're going to redecorate the shelves, because I've already decorated them. But now that I got some, like, cute stuff that I'm excited about, I want to just redo the whole thing. So that's what I'm going to do. So, unfortunately, I have had a technical difficulty. As you can see, this is how the rest of the footage looked. 
I think what it is is the video is too long for my phone app to be able to process, so I'm just going to make this video into two parts, so this is part one, stay tuned for part two.